Kia ora, um, and welcome to today's video. I haven't done one in a while, but I am home and I have found something interesting. Um, and it is Walnut Ink by Daniel Smith. Um, it's got the details on the back if you're interested. But it's for dip pens, but um, I thought it would be fun to do a little painting using them because inks can be used similar to watercolours. That's why you don't tend to use fountain pens with watercolours because the ink is water-based, so it reacts with water. Um, but yeah, I've sketched a couple things and I've got space so we can swatch it out. Um, yeah, that's as far as I've gotten with the plan. Um, so this ink is walnut ink, so yeah, that's pretty exciting. I didn't bring any water or pour any water out, so this is just kind of straight from the pot. Is reminds me of like burnt umber, quite a warm brown, and yeah, it works very similar to watercolour. Daniel Smith is quite a trusted brand with things like this. So, yeah. It went, goes down really smooth, even on textured paper. As you can see up here, it's already drying really flat. So it'll be interesting to see if it layers um, at all. Might as well just go straight into the painting. I might actually get some water. I'll be right back. I just realised that you guys wouldn't notice um, how long I've been to get the water and stuff because <laughs> it's paused for you, so you don't need to um, worry about that intervention. But no, it's, yeah, very smooth to use. And I can just imagine how um, nice it will be for... Um, fountain pens to use just because of how smooth it is because um, with ink you want it to flow nice and smooth just so you don't get any um, interruptions with the flow of ink and stuff so it needs to be like no pigments or something just to block it up oh, ignore that that is my be real notification <laughs> um no, yeah. It's quite nice just doing a little painting and just finding the ink lying around at home gives me a nice excuse and reason to. Kind of just adding shadows in. And it's just one colour, which is really nice. And it's a nice change because it means I don't need to worry about getting accurate colours or anything, it just, yeah, it's quite nice to paint with. And I'm still, like, a little bit of ink goes a long way, like it's quite pigmented. And yeah, as you can see here, it dries really flat and fast, like, it's not been that long and it's already dried. So I'll do a, another layer of ink to see if it layers. It does shift colours a bit, it, like it dries um, like a bit more of a neutral compared to this kind of um, very warm, it dries a lot closer to a neutral, still warm but closer to a neutral. But no, it's nice, <laughs> it's nice to use, you don't need a lot of ink either, so in that regard, it's similar to watercolour, because watercolour just goes a long way as well. I do like how it's made from walnut. It's like I feel like that's quite unique and really cool. Like, yeah, it's not every day I get to say I've used walnut ink. <laughs> this video is not going to be that informative about like it, because I'm not an. I don't use inks. Like this is my second time using ink outside well it's maybe not my second but like I'm not a specialist with inks and stuff I tend to stick with watercolors but yeah I thought it'd be a nice change 
I've got another watercolour set to do a review on for you guys, but I'm not sure when I'll get around to that one. Hopefully soon. <laughs> but no. Sorry about the creaking, by the way. The table's a little bit of a old one. Oh, I wasn't even recording when I was painting. Well, <laughs> that's not the end of the world. Just up here, just doing the shadows. Yeah, it's coming together. Might let it dry for a bit and work on this one. This is just a random image. I just searched up animal and this is like one of the first images that came up. So here we are. <laughs> but yeah, it's quite nice and it's like brown ink, which you don't usually see. So it's a nice change because black ink's nice, but like it just reminds you of like a ballpoint pen so it's nice just having options of different inks and different pigments that are used and stuff or methods of making the ink it sounds a bit better I do want to try the charcoal watercolors by Schmincke there was a set um, a small set of them but I missed my opportunity there but, yeah, instead of ink, they're like charcoal paints. But, yeah, they're using similar, like a similar idea of like natural ingredients like grape. I'm pretty sure there's a walnut and maybe apricot seed. And it's quite interesting to see like what can come about out of materials like that. Do I want a background? Mm, maybe I'll do a white one. And by light, I mean very light background. But yeah. As you can see, it's shifted a lot in colour here. And that's still not 100% dry, but it does layer. But it does um, lighten a lot. So, like, the shadows have all lightened a lot over here where it's dried. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. I'm not sure, like, how that affects you if you're writing with the ink. I f but, yeah, if you're using it like I am, you need a lot of layers to, like, get lots of deep values and stuff. Yeah, I feel like that's quite nice. Nice quick painting <laughs> of them. I did the sketch off screen just so that it could be focused on the ink, which is always nice. Like the sketch is nice to watch, but I do prefer just watching the painting process and hearing about the product instead of just the sketch being done. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> I think I'm pretty happy with where we've gotten with this, and I'll see you in the next video, I suppose. Um, first I'll give my overall thoughts. Um, the ink is quite nice. Um, I know it's for pens, but, like, if you want to just use it like watercolour, you can. <laughs> um, and no, it's really nice, it's smooth, like, this is cold-pressed paper. Um, 300 GSM, like thickness and weight and stuff, and it's really nice. It does have quite a dramatic um, shift in colour and tones, um, so yeah, just keep that in mind um, if you're worried about that kind of thing. 
And yeah, no, I do enjoy using ink, especially just for like monochromatic studies of stuff, because it, you know, it's easy access. You don't need to use a lot of it, and it's it's easy to use. And yeah, no, I enjoy it a lot. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs> short and sweet. <laughs> um, so yeah, have a good day guys and thanks for watching.